This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another review corner with your old pal Rob. Well, today, what are we talking about? A game that we played the other day, and I've got a lot of things to say about. And what game is that? Well, that's Museum Rush. Okay. Um, this is really an incredible game and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it if you want to see how it plays you can watch the first 10 minutes of a video of a live play that we did but I'll give you a brief overview you're basically a cat burglar breaking into a museum and you are trying to get the most art and loot out at, before before you get caught and lose it all now you can always go go back in grab some more but at the end of the game when the when the final clock ticks and everybody has to be out work their way out you want to have the most and whoever has the most points wins the game there are so many things that are going on with this game one of the thing i want to talk about is that normally you would draw two cards now if you watch the live play as we had done it we had talked with the designer afterwards and the thing that we learned was that to make the game longer you can you can just pull one card instead of two now I we tried it out we decided to try it out the other night and wow does it change the game and make it a lot more strategic there are certain cards in in the deck that actually what they'll do is they'll help you uh, shut down cameras. They'll help you knock down guards so you can get keys. They'll help you move and move people out of the way. They'll distract people. Well, it, when you're pulling two cards, you're getting a lot of these things. But there's also things called clocks, okay? And five clocks, if you're playing a three-player game like we were, ends the game. So with the number of cards that are in that deck, it can go by pretty quick where to maybe you have maybe four or five turns we found that wasn't enough so by pulling the one card it's a lot more strategic because if you pull a clock you automatically have to put that down now you don't have any defense cards to help you so other thieves see that so they'll come at you more because you don't have cards to deflect or block or 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 help you in any way really interesting thing it, it makes you think about your moves where you can go, well, I've got three of these, i got three of these. Uh, well, I can just scoop by this guard, knock him out, grab a key, keep moving, go get... Pulling the one card makes a big difference. And you'll see that. Now, this game, all in all, the one thing that I noticed with my kids and myself was that it played so quickly that we, we were like, oh my God, it's over, but we were having so much fun. And that's a great thing. That's not a bad thing the game ending quickly and we wanted more just shows you that it was a lot of fun we we bought into the theme we bought into everything our character cards each character has a different type of power mine was to move diagonally justin was has this thing where a control room you can turn off cameras and things like that if you're in a certain number of spaces a lot of interesting things happen with this with this game and there's a lot going on slowing the game down by pulling one card makes a big difference or you could just play it the normal way it goes from 20 to 40 minutes we found that the average was about 20 minutes but we wanted more and i keep on saying that because it just it just shows you that we were so immersed and we were so in tune with the game and having that competitive fun where we were going at each other but also trying to avoid each other so it's a lot of fun and then you have the component where there's guards all around and they're trying to get you and and throw you out of the museum with nothing in your hands so it's a fun fun game i'm going to give this game one of my highest ratings i've, I've given something in a long time and that's four and a half stars out of five now I don't think I've ever given a game four and a half stars out of five, but when my son, my my daughter, and we all look at each other and you go, you know something? When we do our competitive night, we have like a little tournament. This game just just worked its way into into our tournament uh, as a permanent thing, and uh, 
if you ever seen one of our term, uh, per, tournament nights or night of champions as we call it we have a little belt and everything it's a lot of fun and and we play like four games in a couple hours they're usually short games and everybody adds up the points and this that and the other this game museum rush has made its way into it that's how much it's a fun family game you could the book is clean you know everything that they've done and this is a pre-production copy too and just to show you how much we love it I am going to paint up these figures we're going to show you how to do the one card playthrough of this and we're going to do one more live playthrough of it that's how much I like this game I hope you guys will back it on Kickstarter. Uh, I hope that they add some of the things that we've suggested into the rules because I think it can really be that much better. A lot of people compared it to Bungle Brothers, but I just, I really, I really like what they did here. I think this is really magnificent. And uh, support it on Kickstarter. It comes uh, on Kickstarter on the 30th of October. And also, if you want to see it played, tell them. If you are in essence, say, hey, that Rob guy sent me to go check this out. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, check it out. I think you'll really enjoy Museum Rush. Until next time, I'm Rob Orn. And as always, and always, we will see you soon.